Hey bestie, how's it going? How are you getting on today? Yes, I know the cold hasn't gone away, but we still persist. The horrors remain, yet I persist. Today we're doing a little bit of a haul video today. And when I say a little bit of a haul, we mean like the world's smallest haul. I've been doing these haul videos for a while now where I go into shops, like specifically shops in the UK where I buy things online and see what is the cheapest way to get stuff that I might want that might help me with my budget. I've always had something in the back of my mind where I'm just purchasing stuff to just essentially throw away and I don't really like that so I like to do giveaways with it but at the same time I don't need to consume quite so many stuff so I have thought about like going into shops and just filming stuff and just showing you what it's like but then I would feel very very uncomfortable so it's gonna stay the way it is for now but maybe we might do these videos a little less often but anyway today we're having a look at what you can get from B&M that might really really help you with your budget I've literally bought three things so this one's going to be a really, really short video. So bestie, let's get into it. So I feel like the fundamental part of a budget is having something where you can write down your budget rather than just going straight into cash stuffing. And I found this here. She's actually really nice. She is uh, a Good Vibes 2025. She's like a little binder, but she's got like a little bit extra as you can probably see on here. Let's have a look in her. So this will be essentially where you write your budget yeah so you've got a diary section at the start and it is quite nice so you've got a diary there where you can sort of track your spending what you're spending and stuff like that you can do sort of like if you're really in the depths of learning how to budget and stuff like that tracking your spending on a daily basis and really understanding how much you're spending on like those coffees and all those little bits here there and everywhere can really really help so you can you know even split in half put your personal stuff and your budget stuff there and like things like tracking your spending and like giving yourself like how much you have remaining each day can be really really useful so you've got that it cuts it quite short on the weekends and I don't really like it when it does that because weekends tend to be the most busy days of the week but yeah you've got that uh, and that goes all the way through the year of 2025 so it's actually quite useful I find nothing special at the end but it does start you in 2026 then you've got here like a little meal plan and this is probably Probably why I bought this because you can plan your meal there in terms of making sure that you don't overspend and stuff like that making sure that you stick to what you want to do with your budget in terms of spending money on food because that's where most of our money goes like treating ourselves and stuff like that and overspending on groceries that can be like really really quite a key important part to making sure that we remain under budget now the only thing that i don't i'd like to have as well is kind of like a, a bit of a shopping list but you could like get like um like a bookmark maybe if it was like laminated as well just so that you could have like a working shopping list that you work through but if you look at the next page here it's full of shopping lists so maybe if you just pulled this out i don't know uh then you've got your shopping list so really this encompasses quite a lot you've got your meal plan and your shopping list and then you've got a diary where you can track your spending so it's not like a full full paycheck bill tracker really getting into detail of your budget but like understanding where your money is and if you don't want something quite so high maintenance as like a paycheck bill tracker this could be really useful so if you're giving yourself you know a certain like 30 pounds spending money tracking it through the week even if you're like not even using cash can be really helpful so there's that now the reason why i bought this is because this it's got like a little cash envelope at the end so it's <laughs> it's got it's a zipper one which is really useful so you could have like your spending money on the go with this it's a really deep pocket it's punched and it's it's like in there as well so as long as you're not breaking the actual zipper this um i think is really good idea i wish i'd thought of something like this i really really do so you can even like transport your coins and stuff like stuff like that so this could be really really handy and it's only three pound fifty so you know if you want something really really low maintenance and you're using cash and you're really into making sure that your meals um and your shopping and stuff like that is going according to plan this could be super handy so i think this is a bit of a win actually from b&m now the other thing i had a look at was this here it's a rewards sticker pack essentially what i think a good saving challenge looks and feels like is a reward chart so treating yourself like a kid sometimes <laughs> really really works now obviously 
These look super juvenile. These are intended for kids. They're, they're not going to um, feel <laughs> as finessed as some of the saving challenges that you're used to, like the ones that you buy on Etsy and stuff like that. But look at them. They look... <laughs> Honestly, is there much difference? I could have designed this. Right, okay, so let's let's actually look at one. They're taped together, right? We've got an A <laughs> This is A6, bestie. Let me get a cash envelope. I, I need to look at the size. Okay, so there's a cash envelope, right? Um, and essentially, <laughs> it's going to fit in, which is wild. So how much was this? These were £1.99. So <laughs> really, really useful. So you can like say, oh, I want to save, I don't know, X amount per sticker. And then you've got all of these. They all fit as well. So like you've got these great ones here. You've got the circular ones. You've got the ribbons, the stars. Essentially, that's the savings challenge. So for that £1.99, you've only got two. And then the rest is just pure stickers, but you can use them for other stuff, I believe. So for two saving challenges for £1.99, that's cheaper than me. Now, they are juvenile. They look like they're designed for kids, and that's because they essentially are. But how cute to have, like, a ton of stickers. <laughs> Even if I designed this, I wouldn't be able to sell it as cheap as what it is, because it does feel flimsy and cheap and rubbish. But how could that? That looks like a savings challenge. Am I being dumb here? Like, that does look like a savings challenge to me. So once you finish these ones, I don't know what you would do with the rest of the stickers, but you could just stick them to anything. Maybe use the back or whatever like there's plenty you could do with these so i think this is a bit of a winner and for one pound 99 bestie for two saving challenges that's a pound each that's good value for money i think if you're okay with looking at this and feeling like a kid all the time sometimes it's nice to take a step back okay so the last thing i've got is a bit of a far reach right and i've kind of spoke about this before but let's talk about the 100 envelope challenge or an envelope challenge right essentially all you need is a ton of envelopes to make that happen so how they work is you have for instance for the 100 envelope challenge you have 100 envelopes you label them 1 to 100 and in the one envelope you put one pound in the 20 envelope you put 20 pounds in the 100 envelope you put 100 pounds and you work your way through that and at the end of it you got 5050 where do we get lots of envelopes for cheap for and we can get like larger size envelopes which will end up taking up a lot of space so lots of little envelopes is hard to find but we're in the festive season right now and this is a 30 pack of cards so you could do the 30 envelope challenge i don't know what you'd save up with 30 envelopes but i'm sure somebody in the comments will let me know because as we know I am not amazing with maths. I do do my best, but I am constantly corrected. And I thank you for correcting me because, you know, <laughs> I do be dumb. Right, okay, so in here, you're gonna find 30, like, Christmas cards, right? Don't need those. But what we want is these envelopes. So these are gonna fit in a box really, really nice. It's gonna feel lovely to come back to it. So this was £1.50. So if we wanted to do the 100 envelope challenge with this, we'd need four packs, which is what, six pounds? Six pounds for a big saving challenge is gonna save you five and a half grand. That's not the end of the world. We could even get some nice coloured pens to label them up. But these are really, really good. We could even put our money inside the Christmas card, which would keep it like really crisp and flat and make sure that fold is nice and crisp so that when we come to open it, it's going to look and feel really, really good. But that was my sort of little hack on how to get a ton of envelopes for quite cheap, but like little ones that are nice. So I know we found envelopes that are smaller and cheaper, but they're brown and brown isn't always the aesthetic do you know what i mean uh for some of you it is but for me i like a nice white envelope with lots of color on and you know oh we could use the stickers couldn't we <gasps> how nice would that be so these are the only things that i bought from b &M. i think they you know there was other stuff we could have done but we kind of done like a lot of different like hacks in the past so i think when we look at it i think that's a really good value for money if you're happy to sort of work with that style they're not going to feel amazing 
season you have to write how much but like these look and feel like any other savings challenge but because they're so kid orientated i don't know it might feel good doing it like it's a short term thing i think the envelope hack is good as well but well, it's not really a hack right it's finding envelopes are cheap there are cheaper ways to do it but this will feel nicer this if you are not in the i want to budget absolutely everything down to the final degrees can be really really useful so i think all in all the things i've selected for you from bnm i think not that bad and i think you could get like an effective little thing going just with this so all of this together cost 350 five like seven pounds that's a bargain bestie Hi guys, girls and all buying pals. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you are going to comment, please use this emoji. When you use that emoji, you will enter in for a giveaway for the stuff shown in today's video, plus everything I've shown in every other video. So in the next haul video or the next DIY video, I will be running this and seeing who wins. So it keeps on getting unclaimed. One day someone's going to claim it. But in the meantime, it is growing bigger and bigger every time. So best of luck, use that emoji and uh, if you win, you've got some really nice stuff coming your way. Have you considered becoming a channel member or a patron? Patrons get exclusive content, sneak peeks and significant discounts off my Etsy store. Channel members get early access to every single video. In fact, they've seen this video long before you have Bestie. If you like Sansos Perks and you like Sound of Me, have a look at the links in the description. You will not regret a Bestie. That's all we have for today, but until the next video which i don't know when the next sort of haul video is going to be because i'm as i said i'm going to try and sort of calm down with constantly buying stuff that i'm never going to want or need but until the next one bestie i would like you to have a wonderful day have a wonderful week and have a wonderful budget always remember don't trust ira i know what i'm going to call this video it's going to be called b m's now says savings challenges so let's do let's move that out of the way be like oh <gasps> It's going to be like, I can't believe B&M now sells savings challenges. B&M copied my savings challenge because it's rainbow. Yeah, we'll do that. Click pay. <laughs> right, let's do that.